Balloon Fight is an arcade game released in 1984. No, it's not what you're thinking. Balloon Fight has three modes. Well, it only really has two, since one of them is just a clone of another with an extra player added. Let's start off from the top, with Game Mode A, one player game. Birds fly around the screen using balloons, and you do the same. And the objective is to pop all the birds' balloons in order to obtain the highest score possible. First thing you'll notice is the chilled music that plays when you select the game mode. Then, very abruptly, the music stops, and all you hear is... Whatever this is. It's just noise. Why did they think this was a good idea? Why not just make one song that plays on loop throughout the whole game? It worked well with Bubble Bobble. What makes this even more irritating is the awesome song which plays after each level. And then, it returns. The pain of constant annoying bleeps and bloops. So after a few levels of popping birds balloons, you get to a bonus stage. And what's this? An amazing song which loops throughout the whole level. Well why wasn't this used before? Oh, but as soon as you complete the bonus stage, it's back to headache inducing pain. Look at that, it's that thing from Smash Brothers which I hate. Wonder if it's any better in this game. Nope, hate it here too. What's also annoying is that the song which plays when you die is more satisfying than listening to most of the sound in the game. Blah blah blah, graphics are fine, yada yada yada. Next, game mode B, two player game. Inventive. Well, it's pretty much the same as game mode A, except now, player two can control a character who wears the reverse colours as the main guy. This mode can be played cooperatively or competitively, and it even allows each player to destroy the other player's balloons. Since I have no friends, by default, this game mode sucks for me. Conceptually though, it's pretty cool, though it'll probably end up destroying many relationships, Mario Party style. Finally, the best of all the game modes, C, Balloon Trip. Let's just press like twice, like with all good NES games, because pressing up and down would have been far too advanced for the time. So once you press start, because it would have been far too convenient, the best part of the game starts. And just listen to that wonderful music. Yeah, it's the same song that played from the bonus stage, but that doesn't matter. This is what should be playing throughout the whole game anyway. At least they got it right for a third of the game. Balloon Trip has you flying to the left, trying to pop stationary floating balloons in order to get the highest score possible. This starts off with a brief section, which is the same every time you play it, but soon enters Random Generation Mode. And look at this, a leaderboard. Well, almost. It's a leaderboard which doesn't keep track of who has what score, and it only displays the top score. Even with this being the case though, it does save every score, meaning the more you play it, the harder it'll get to get a higher rank. Think of it as an invisible leaderboard, because that is pretty much what it is. Balloon Trip is very enjoyable, and Sand on its own is its own game. It's a small game, but still a game. You'll want to keep playing. You'll want to beat the high score. You'll come back, play for 5 minutes, look at the clock, and notice 30 minutes has magically passed. While it does have some issues, like the feeling of your character sticking to the edge of the screen, or the whole thing having poor hitboxes, which can both help and hinder you. Balloon Fight gets 3 balloons out of 5, and only because of Balloon Trip, the rest of the popping game can pop off, because it's so popping annoying. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, to be the first person to know about my videos. Links are in the description. The fish, although appears to eat you at random, doesn't. It actually moves left and right under the water, and eats you when you touch it. This mode can be played cooperatively or competitively, even allowing each player to destroy the other player's bubble. Balloons!